So let's look at the render pass, the multi-pass technology in AccuRender NXT. It's a very important concept to get used to. What AccuRender will do, when you start it to render, you'll see it will take a pass, and then it will take a second pass, and a third pass, and a fourth pass. And as it goes along, it will continue to refine many effects. And in, in some ways, you could say it never actually gets done. It always is continuously refining the effects. So here I want to show you what those effects might be. So you can see on the left-hand side here, we have an image of an interior where you have the first pass. And so certain things uh, render very quickly. For instance, the bitmap texture on the ground is laid down proper. Uh, other effects take a little bit longer to to uh, to refine themselves. So the dotted uh, lighting on the back wall there is actually indirect lighting, and that lighting hasn't in the first pass hasn't fully fully taken effect. And so you'll see some noise in that in that uh, piece there. Also on the ground, while the reflections on the ground from the windows look good, those are actually supposed to be soft reflections. And so in the first pass, the reflections are very, very hard. And then you can see as we go to the third pass on the right there, uh, you can see certain things are starting to soften up. You're seeing the lighting starting to soften up. You're seeing the uh, reflections start to soften. And so as we let this move along from, let's say, pass two to pass seven, you can see that the uh, effect of the indirect lighting on the back wall is starting to get softer and softer. You're starting to see that the, the reflections are getting softer. And as we go along to pass 15, you can see that, that there's even more indirect lighting filling in underneath into the corners and into the edges. And from pass 15 to pass 45, you can see that it almost completely softens a lot of those very subtle uh, indirect lighting effects. And the reflection on the ground has now become uh, completely blurred as the effect is is was meant to be in the first place. And so this multi-pass technology is, is very important. If we look at the very first pass that you take to the very last pass that you decide to let it go to, that is, that is quite a bit of difference. The thing to remember is that you can make a lot of rendering decisions early on in pass one, two, three, four, and five, stop the rendering, go back, change some uh, settings, and then re-render, let it go four or five passes. And you can make a lot of, of rendering changes. But as you get to the point where you like what you're getting, let it continue to cook. And you can see that it will get better and better as it moves along. Uh, you know, the big question is how many passes do you let it go? That's a, that's a much more, it depends on the rendering. Uh, you know, interiors and ex, or exteriors, for instance, might, you might be looking at 10 to 15 passes. Uh, for interiors, you could be up to 30 uh, because the indirect light is so much more important. And so, but you'll you'll get a feel for that as you move along. But remember the multi-pass uh, process and uh, what you can watch that you'll get used to that process. What it does allow us to do is it allows us to simplify the interface so that you don't have to make as many decisions on all these effects before you actually render.